Police in the US are investigating the death of a man at the Burning Man Festival. It follows days of torrential rain and floods, leaving thousands of people stranded and transforming the desert landscape into a mud bath. In the heart of the Nevada desert, on the bed of a dried up lake, tens of thousands of people stuck, not in mud, but clay. Three months worth of rain in just three days has turned one of the world's most iconic festivals to this. Normally Burning Man is a lot of biking and um, there's none of that happening because this stuff just sticks to everything. Um, so everyone's walking around, we're calling it Walking Man. And this isn't just an inconvenience, it is potentially very dangerous because this temporary city is remote, it's hot, and for the time being it is largely inaccessible. From the air you get a sense of the scale of Burning Man. The authorities have told people not to attempt to leave, to conserve water and food, and to prepare for more rain. We got people who came by bus camped on the edge of the city. They're in pop-up tents and at risk of getting hypothermia. But we don't need outside help. We're going to bind together. Get radically self-reliant, dry out the furniture, and keep the party going. There are layered ironies to all this, not just so much rain at one of the Earth's driest places, but a festival that, on the face of it, is all about sustainability, community, self-reliance. Now facing this. One person has died during the course of the weekend, but it's not been confirmed if this was linked to the weather. Not everyone has followed the advice to stay put. American DJ Diplo and comedian Chris Rock walked for six miles and then hitched their way out. Look, if I could get a cold brew right now. There is a utopian spell surrounding Burning Man and its vision for a better world. But for several years now, the festival's sustainable credentials have been questioned, with many of those attending relying on air-conditioned tents and vehicles to keep cool in the desert heat. It's not clear when people will be permitted to leave or even when that will be feasible, given the conditions and more rain to come. Mark Stone, Sky News.